Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I wish that it could be like that Can it be like that? Can some be yours? What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello everyone and welcome Oh, I just hit my microphone Oops Welcome back to my missing fingernail. <laughs> well, that looks wrong. That looks even more wrong. <laughs> looks like I'm missing a finger. <laughs> oh, my hand is so much paler than my face. Again. You can't even see that I got a haircut. Look, I got a haircut. <laughs> I know I said I want to get rid of my blue hair. I tried it. Didn't work. <laughs> and don't worry, I will be filming a My Subscribers Pick My Hair Color video, but um, not yet because... It's still blue. Anyway, that's not what we're here for today. We're here for a little mix because they freaking launched a makeup brand, which is very exciting. And I literally bought every single product they launched. <laughs> I even bought this queen key ring. I don't know why, but I'm glad I got it. <laughs> so I got this huge box. I'm gonna show this to you because uh, it definitely represents their brand LMX Beauty, okay? It's like really small, like written down here. <laughs> it is LMX Beauty, which does sound nice, I think. LMX Beauty and Little Mix, LMX, Obelix. It's almost the same, you know? <laughs> the only thing which I noticed right away, um, I think they only took like one picture for the whole campaign or for the whole collection. And they literally put it on every product. Just like one picture, which is always the same. <laughs> it's right here, it's right there, it's on here, it's on here. I don't know if the photographer didn't have like a lot of time that day, so they only <laughs> took this one picture. I mean, the picture is bomb, but I would have liked it if there would be like a few more pics, you know? It's the beginning of LMX Beauty, so let's not be too harsh because they also need to get into the makeup game and just figure things out and how it works. And I am really excited um, to test out their products. This is not sponsored. I bought all of this myself. It was <laughs> a pain in the ass to get these products. I know they don't sell their products internationally yet, only in England, so I asked the cousin of a friend who lives in the UK at the moment if I could order like all of these LMX Beauty products to her house and then if she could send it to me. Shipping costs from the UK to Germany were like 50 pounds or something. <laughs> I don't know what these products are like. So let's just see if LMX Beauty is worth all of the effort I put into getting the products. <laughs> let's do it. They came out with actually a lot of products. And first, let me have out the mouth. All of these products are drugstore products. You can get it at Boots in the UK, as I said. I think they also came out with a palette. Uh oh. Ooh, okay, this one is sprinkled with little white shiny flakes. Could be cocaine, but also could be eyeshadow. <laughs> um, <laughs> this shade didn't quite make the way from the UK to Germany. <laughs> You're a little bit poking, aren't you? Let's just close that for a minute. I don't really blame the brand. I mean, it was a long way from the UK to Germany. <gasps> Okay, so that was a great start, a great start. I kind of want to do like my face makeup first because I kind of feel like a potato right now and I want to be snatched, you know, I'm fine. I know they have like a base palette like for contour and blush. Turn up the base, that's creative. It looks like this. I kind of really like the packaging except that they always use the same picture for every product, but I like the hollow and I mean, it's not like super innovative and crazy. It's just kind of chic. I guess this is like blush, contour, it's this highlighter. Kind of reminds me of the Fenty highlighter. Let me just contour my face with this. A little bit of this. I'm kind of scared to dip into this <laughs> because it's really dark. That is not bad. I can definitely see the contour. It's not like too heavy. It doesn't look muddy. I like it. Okay, the contour shades are gorgeous. Let me clean this brush. Let's dip into this. 
Let me dip in some more. Oh, oh yeah, okay, now I can see it. Oh yeah, kinda wanna see what the other one looks like. Oh, oh, this one is a little powdery. I'm not like 100% feeling that blush. It's kind of patchy. You now I put like a lot of product on at first accidentally. I also don't see a difference between these two colors on my face. In the pan, they're definitely really different. Like this is a hot pink and this is more like a corally blush. But on my face, they look exactly the same. I'm gonna leave my face makeup like this and I'm gonna do my eyes now and I wanna do a highlighter last. I actually have never seen this eyeshadow palette before. I've only seen the packaging like on their website. Now I see it for the first time. Um... The only color that really speaks to me is this one because it it's the only interesting color. I know, I know, don't hate on me. I know y'all love neutral palettes, but I'm kind of bored. Wait, but I saw another eyeshadow color somewhere. Was it in the broken one? I think it was in the broken one. This is the pop in pink get the look palette, so it has to be eyeshadow. I think this was supposed to be a highlighter. Oh, there's like a liquid liner in there as well. I just couldn't see it because of... All of the cocaine, you know. Okay, so Naomi John decided she wants to step into this pink. I'm gonna get a little closer so you can see what's happening. <laughs> Literally not pigmented. <laughs> I'm just getting there like really hard and pick up as much product as I can. I'm not even gonna just it. Oh, wait, let me just it off a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. Let me see if there's like more pigment in this shade. No, let me try the actual Iconics palette now. Let's just see if I can apply this and it's more pigmented. Oh my god. This shade is literally the same pigment as the other hot pink shade. I think it even has more pigment. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and try out this shade, I guess. Oh, oh, there's more coming off this shade. What's more work? Wait, no, no, no. Um. <clears throat> look, 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 look. I can see pigment. It's like right there. And then I'm starting to blend it in. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, wait. <laughs> now this m might be a little much. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Something is happening. I don't know if it's good or bad. Oh, it's bad. Vincent. I'm having some. <laughs> Issues. <laughs> Come on, that's hot pink, Marge. <laughs> <laughs> Love a good hot pink. <laughs> Should I put makeup in your eyes? Mm. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god! Look into the camera. <laughs> Looks like I hit you in the face. <laughs> Do all. Good luck. Thanks just stabbed on the bubble wrap and it just popped and it scared the hell out of me. <laughs> okay, let me let me try to blend this. Wait, 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 I can do it. Let me just blend it both like to infinity and beyond. <sighs> Let's step into the darkest shade out of the palette, which is this one and this one, but this is shimmery, so I don't know about that. Okay. You guys, I'm literally trying my best, okay? I swear to the moon and the stars, to the avocados, the potatoes, and the pesto. Okay, but like this darker shade made it even worse. Like, can you see this dark spot right here? Maybe if I add the black shimmery shade? Oh, oh, pigment. <gasps> Let's see if it blends out. Mm. I can work with this one. It 
it's not blending that nicely on this eye. <clears throat> My eyeshadow is a mess, let's be honest here. This is really stressing me out. I'm just gonna get into this one and I'm gonna coat the brush. Mm. Let me go in with my finger. Maybe <laughs> this will look good on my eyes. Well, that looks chunky. <laughs> that was not a good idea. Let's try to brush it off, which actually works. Maybe, 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 maybe. I'm gonna use this one. Ah, okay. Okay, this is so much better. I mean, okay, I'm applying it with my finger now, but I'm always applying um, shimmery eyeshadows with my finger anyway. And maybe like this pearly highlighter. Am I in a corner? Um, it's definitely the best shimmery product I've used so far. <laughs> Just for fun, I'm gonna use the glitter eyeliner, which is in here, which is like purple, pink, and I have like a golden situation going on, but... Okay. It's not that much glitter coming out. I'm dipping in for like the fifth time now. Kind of cute, it's like a little in a corner highlight yeah that's cute now let's get into the dirty ass palette let's get in <laughs> into this eyeliner this is a liquid liner oh uh. so far so good I'm not mad at this eyeliner so far. This is not bad. This went on real quick. They are kind of even. I don't know, I feel it on my lids though. Now we got this Little Mix Glitter Ball In Face and Body Glitter Collection. Wait, it's not for the eyes. <laughs> oh. It doesn't say it's suitable for the eyes, so to be honest, I don't want to be like a bad example and just use it on my eyes. I just, fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> so we have glitter primer. Oh, <laughs> hello, buddy. Oh, okay. Okay, that was a little too much, I think. Oh, oh, it's gluey. To be honest, I don't really like applying glitter that way. I only like it if I have like a cut crease going on because you can't blend glitter and it always looks chunky and just a little messy if you just apply it like this. But I also gotta say, doing a cut crease would have been impossible with this eyeshadow palette. That's what I'm going with now. Okay, so far the glitter seems fine. Please don't use it on your eyes though, as I did because it is face and body glitter, not eye glitter. I can feel my eyeliner, I can feel the glitter glue, I can feel the glitter, I can feel a little bit of my disappointment, I can feel too much right now. <laughs> and we have this girl. <laughs> so I found this palette, which is another eyeshadow palette, and it's only shimmers, so I need to try this one as well, maybe just watching it. So this one actually looks exactly like the highlighter in the other palette, and it feels the exact same. And this one also looks like the highlighting shade from the other palette. Okay, so these are the two shades. Let me just compare them to the other ones. Can you see this? I love the color difference between my hand and my face. But you can see these shades look very similar. They also have really similar texture. Eh. This one looks nice. I like that one. I wish I would have put this one on my lid. Get down and dirty. I want to put those face jams on like right here. Is that cute? Just put on some mascara. Let's put on some highlighter. We got these 
highlighters right here. I don't know why I'm not taking them out. <laughs> I'm gonna use this highlighter first, which is called highlighter. <laughs> I think it's the shade Petal. Oh, I forgot a highlighter brush. Oh, it's not like blinding, but it does have like a nice pinky undertone. So this one is in the shade Lightning, which is cute because of their song Lightning. <laughs> oh, I know you can see that there is a shine on my cheek. And there is, but this highlighter is extremely powdery. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> and if you apply it to your face, um, it is literally getting everywhere. Now I look crazy with different highlighters. Can I build it up? Okay, yeah. This highlighter looks so strong, but it's also all over my face. It's super powdery. It's literally coming off if I wipe it. Let's carry on with the lips. So they have like a huge package with like a lot of nude colors. Oh, this is this is a matte lip. I thought these were glosses. This is actually like a kit. This is a lip liner, a matte lip, and a lip gloss. I think I want to try that. That's the one. It even has a hollow top coat. Hollow taco. I'm literally using this finger to get it open. <laughs> This is the lip liner hold up. Is that is that the shade name? Hold up. Hold up. Ow. <laughs> My lips are really dry actually at the moment, so it really hurts like hell right now because this lip liner is so sharp. Okay, let's try this matte lip in the shade Cupid. Okay, that's definitely lighter than the lip liner. Okay, I mean there's a lot coming out. Didn't have to dip in another time yet. It smells really intense, but also not bad, so. I don't mind it, let's see if it dries down. It's drying down now and it's getting a little tacky. I really wanted to like this lipstick, but it's like really, really tacky and my lips just stick together. Okay, so let's see what the hollow taco looks like. <laughs> What the hell is this smell? It smells like paint. It smells like moving day. It's like the nastiest smell I've ever smelled in a lip gloss. The hollowness is also not really there. Christine would be upset. Well, it looks nice. It is really pretty actually. Like it's really glossy and shiny. It's not hollow. It's not hollow. And the lips are not that sticky anymore. So if you want to wear these matte lipsticks, you might need to put a gloss on top. So if you want to have matte lips, don't buy this. <laughs> From far away, I look cute. Okay, you guys, let's do my final thoughts. I gotta say, I just got down and dirty, but not in a good way. <laughs> I don't know where to start. This was not such a good experience. I'm sorry to say that because I really, really love Little Mix. I love their music, but this was just not a good experience for me. But I mean, this is not a personal thing. This is just my honest opinion based on their products. <sighs> also, I know this is drugstore makeup. I know that, but it's still kind of expensive like this eyeshadow palette was 16 pounds and i think that's that's quite some money for a drugstore palette but still if you want to support little mix um, because you love them then let me tell you i think the glitter eyeliner was quite cute it's like in a corner highlight or something the eyeliner is not that bad either um, these things are kind of cute for like a festival situation. I mean there was like other stuff as well Which you could put on your forehead or your lid. The highlighters were not that bad. You can really see them They're just a little powdery and if you want a nice shimmery shade for your eyelid, I would get this palette um, I think this palette is really good actually like the blush was okay. The contour colors were really good These colors are, oh, these colors are not that bad. So this is probably the best thing I've tested. Of course, I couldn't try out everything. I ordered so much and I, I only have one face. <laughs> I think that's actually it. At least I have my queen key ring. <laughs> well, I actually... 
Well, you guys, I just lost my fake nose piercing. <laughs> just fell out of my nose. <laughs> And it just fell into my rug and um, as you know, my rug is super duper floppy. I don't know what I was saying, but at least I have my queen key ring. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram, Naomi John Snap on Snapchat, and the Naomi John on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I just stepped onto the bubble wrap again. <laughs>